Hello everybody, welcome to The Daily Rinse, episode number two. I am your host, Chris Barth, and today we'll be discussing a hot topic, hot topic that was really popping up about two years ago, in 2014, early 2013, and gained popularity with the mainstream media, articles were written about it, and, and everything like that, and that people started doing it every now and then, and I would now get questions about it um, in my practice, and I've also had fen- friends and family ask about it too, and that, my friends, is going to be the method or technique of oil pulling. And as you can see, I've got my trusty bottle of oil here. This is olive oil, extra virgin, and this is actually some coconut oil, which I'll, we'll get to later, but I wanted to talk a brief second about what oil pulling is. Oil pulling, the process of pulling the oil back and forth throughout your mouth, almost as if you're tasting wine or swishing with a mouth rinse, is originated in India as a type of holistic medicine thought to improve oral health and improve your gums, your breath, uh, possibly fight cavities. And a lot of these concepts were kind of making their way to mainstream media and, like I said, into America, and folks were trying it out. The thing with a new concept or technique when it comes out is, does it work? Is there evidence, scientific evidence, that it's actually doing anything? Is it harmful? Are there benefits? Is it just hearsay? What is going on? And to date, still, there is a lack of evidence regarding the oil pulling in the scientific literature. This is going to be true if you look at PubMed or any of the other databases out there that that look for those types of things. And a lot of the literature actually comes out of India, which is where it originated. And there's conflicting points of view. There's views on either side. Yes, it works. No, it doesn't. It's the same as mouth rinses we have. It's way better. But uh, in general, there was a consensus found that Typically, it improved at least bad breath. So folks found that it improved their breath, taste, and smell uh, as compared to other rinses uh, or placebos even. And so I wanted to sort of focus on that. That's something that a lot of times dental professionals turn to, the literature for, for actual evidence or proof for something that works. So the way this oil pulling works, from what I understand, is you take a spoonful or two spoonfuls of oil and you swish it around in your mouth from anywhere from five to 20 minutes and walk around the house, watch TV, do what you want, spit it out when you're done. And if you do this daily, it's supposed to promote your well-being, uh, give you, like I said, the improvement in breath, taste and smell, possibly flight cavities and make your gums feel better. So, I'll leave it up to you as a disclaimer, you know, you, you guys do what you want. Let me know if you've tried it before. I'm curious to see if folks are still doing it. Um, it is a holistic type of, of, of an approach versus, you know, a more traditional approach with um, anything fluoride or toothpaste in nature or anything that would really freshen your breath up or, or help take care of your teeth and fight cavities. But I also wanted to give a little bit of review today and do some of my own oil pulling. It's my first time, so I don't know if that makes me a virgin oil puller, but I've got a little ramekin here full of, of some of this olive oil. That's not from, so the other thing, I guess a lot of folks are doing this with sesame oil. A lot of the studies use sesame oil. I don't have any, but they also looked at coconut oil, olive oil, uh, corn oil, vegetable oil, and, and a lot of different kinds. So I figured I'd at least do two, and here goes nothing. Believe it or not, I'm not getting a lot of that olive taste. I feel like a lot of times when I cook with olive oil, immediately I can start to smell olives. 
and obviously taste it in my food if I'm eating eggs or whatever I'm cooking it, cooking with it. Obviously it makes my mouth feel greasy. I don't feel any immediate improvement. Now obviously these are probably long-term effects. Folks are doing this for any range of reasons and you're not going to see an immediate effect. I will say though that I did have a little bit of bad breath earlier and this is a little, this is improving it a little bit. So definitely, definitely an, <clears throat> definitely an A in, in breath improvement, at least right, right away. So that was, the, that was the extra virgin olive oil. You know, I implore you to, to give sesame oil or anything else a try. Real quick, I'm going to also give a test, test try to the coconut oil. Now this is sol solid at room temp, so I melted it down a little bit. They do make liquid coconut oil. This is expeller pressed. And I've got, I've got that hanging out here in my trusty, my trusty Muhlenberg Go Mules uh, shot glass here. So we'll, we'll give the coconut oil a try now. To me, that, that coconut tastes a lot thinner, the consistency. I don't feel as viscous when I spit it out. The olive oil tended to stay in there long and it felt a little more thick. The coconut oil, definitely, I can it imparts that coconut taste in there. And again, I know I didn't rinse in between, but I can definitely taste an improvement in my breath at least. I, I don't have anybody here except for this little guy over here to, to give it a shot. but. I would definitely give it a try. Now I will put out a disclaimer, just for safety reasons, there have been a couple cases reported of something called lipoid, um, extra oral lipoid pneumonia. And folks, I guess when they were trying it out in, their, in a pediatric population, or a few cases reported of little kids aspirating the oil and actually developing a, a pneumonia from that. So just take precautions, don't do this at, to your kids or, or if it's unsupervised or what have you, but give it a try. You're welcome to swallow the oil after, but I spit it out. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It got a little bit of information on oil pulling. Again, it's my first time trying it and I'll, I'll see you next time. So everybody stay clean and uh, over and out.